Hi, I'm Paroma Varma, one of the co-founders and head of solutions at Snorkel AI. And today I'm really excited to talk to you about data-centric AI. So often people hear the term data-centric AI and do a little bit of a double take. Hasn't machine learning and AI always been about the data? So the shift here really is that previously a lot of time had to be spent on models, deciding model architecture, feature engineering, but now we have these really powerful, complex, high performance models readily available for us off the shelf with all the work that's been done in research as well as in industry. However, these complex models are extremely data hungry. What this means is machine learning engineers and data scientists today are spending a majority of their time with their training data, managing it, curating it, and labeling it. Essentially, data has now become a more central part of the AI development process, and it's really paying off. We've seen across a variety of use cases and industry applications how spending more time increasing the volume of training data available, increasing its quality, leads to significant improvements in end model performance. So I want to stress that it's not an either or between the model centric and the data centric AI approach. It's more of a relative shift. To go through this, let's focus on the model centric AI approach first. Here, you're treating data as a static artifact and really living in the model. To go through an example, let's think about a group of data scientists working on a task. They might download their training data as a CSV and then spend most of their time on model optimization. Here, the data is treated as being outside or kind of before the main loop of working on your model. With data-centric AI development, teams are spending a lot more time curating, managing, labeling, and augmenting their training data. This is especially true if the training data is complex and requires domain expertise to label. The data is private, which means it can't be outsourced to crowd workers or production data or business objectives are changing often enough that it requires model retraining and training data relabeling. The motivation to spend this much time on training data is clear. It's to encode knowledge into the model and make sure that we're seeing the significant performance improvements that we need from these machine learning models. Putting this data-centric AI development in practice can be difficult if we don't have the right processes, approaches, and technology at our hands. Inspired to make this easier, we've spent years, both in research as well as with our customers, to define three key principles that are important to make data-centric AI not just possible, but practical. First, as we've covered, data needs to be a central part to the AI development process, especially iterating on your training data. Second, data-centric AI needs to be programmatic, not manual. It's not practical to label millions of data points one at a time. A programmatic interface allows practitioners to write what we call labeling functions to automatically label millions of data points in a matter of minutes. Finally, the subject matter expert needs to be a part of the main loop. They're essentially our guides to the data and collaborating with data scientists means we can encode domain knowledge into these models much more efficiently. The value that data-centric AI can unlock is immense. Yet most platforms today are anchored on model-centric AI. We built Snorkel Flow to solve exactly for this. It's an end-to-end -end platform centered on data-centric AI that focuses on the three principles we just talked about. Programmatic labeling, rapid iteration, and involving the domain expert in the loop. Here are some ways Snorkel Flow does this. First, it makes programmatic labeling fast and intuitive with a no-code UI, but still allows for flexibility with the Python SDK. Second, it provides immediate guidance for where to go next, whether it's the model or the data itself when trying to improve performance. Finally, it brings the data scientists and domain experts together in one platform. And this really empowers your subject matter experts to engage in a more strategic manner than just labeling data one at a time. If you want to learn more about data-centric AI, we have a ton more information available on our website, snorkel.ai. You can find more details about the platform, the research powering Snorkel Flow, as well as case studies. 
Finally, we'd be happy to connect you to one of our amazing machine learning experts to talk through your individual use case and help us support you to accelerate your AI priorities.